चैप्टर होता है ना वो हर मतलब स्टार्टिंग आपकी पॉलिनॉमल से होती है बहुत कम टीचर्स होते हैं जो रियल नंबर से स्टार्ट करते हैं बिकॉज मेन चैप्टर आपका पॉलिनॉमल ही होता है अल्टीमेटली हाँ तो इसी वजह मतलब रियल नंबर ना हार्डली आपके टू क्लासेस में कंप्लीट हो जाता है तो इसको इतना ज्यादा वो नहीं दिया जाता दो या तीन मार्क्स का चैप्टर है बेसिकली टोटल में वो सो इस वजह से सो डोंट वरी अबाउट इट ओके सो एंड फिजिक्स में क्या चल रहा है हर्षित आपके स्कूल में मुझे सर फिजिक्स में अभी हम कनके और कनके कन्वेक्स लेंस में लेंस तक पहुंच गए आप चलो ठीक है कोई बात नहीं सो बी रिलैक्स वन मोर थिंग देखो अभी स्टार्ट है सेशन का इतनी हम लोगों को हर एक चीज डिटेल में देखो स्कूल में करने का मतलब उनका मोटिव होता है सिलेबस कंप्लीट करना द थिंग हियर इज डिफरेंट इज दैट अवर मोटिव इज टू गिव यू द कॉन्सेप्ट एंड दी यू कैन से द डेप्थ ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट सो इसी वजह से आप लोग यहाँ पे एक्स्ट्रा टाइम दे रहे हैं तो प्लीज बी रिलैक्स ओके आप हर एक चीज को डिटेल में पढ़ेंगे हम लोग ठीक है आर्यन हर्षित एम आई क्लियर तो बिल्कुल भी पैनिक होने की जरूरत नहीं है देर इज नो नीड टू बी पैनिक लाइक स्कूल इज गोइंग इन द वेरी फास्ट पेस एंड आई एम सो फर्स्ट इज थिंग इज दैट द मोटिव इज टू बेसिकली बेसिकली गेट द कॉन्सेप्ट अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ठीक है सो दैट्स वाई यू गिविंग यूर एक्स्ट्रा टाइम यू आर गिविंग एक्स्ट्रा रिसोर्सेज एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इन द लर्निंग यू सो बी रिलैक्स एंड बी काम यूर ओके ओके या okay that's great so let's start the topic okay that uh, that thing like i will give you the introduction first so what basically i how you will identify the linear equation and what are pair of a pair of linear equation basically so in the ninth class you have done this chapter named as linear equation into variable yes or no harshit and arya yes, i think yes. that was the fourth chapter or the third chapter in ninth maths sir so fourth ha fourth chapter third coordinate tha yes fourth chapter tha so uh, like uh, what do you have observed in that chapter ab bata sakte ho mujhe sir actually uh, in Haan. this like this chapter ke andar humne jo pehle linear equations thi unhe two variable ke sath humne solve kar liye dekha like uh, agar hum hmm. koi bhi x ki value dalte hain to usse x ki value nikalti hai fir y ki hmm. that yes very good very good arya aap batao any idea for you dear very good harshit Same, so first we find the value of x and then we find the value of y. Yes, very good. So it's basically a kind of relation that is linearly dependent, right? Linear means if I'm putting any value of x, so I'm getting the value of y. Yes or no? Yes. And they are you yeah. can say, कुछ मतलब they are related to each other. So अच्छा एक बात बताओ. One more thing is that if you have basically a, a two variable equation, okay? When one in a, in a, in a, in an equation there are two variables. So how many equations are required to get the value of those two variables? क्योंकि अगर हम solve करेंगे उसको तो solve करने के लिए हमें कुछ specific equations तो चाहिए होती है ना? Yes. So आप बता सकते हैं कि how many equations do we need to solve the uh, you can say pair of the basically the value of x and y? Okay, so I have switched on my camera. So Harshit, I think this is the first interaction with you, <laughs> face to face, right? Uh, yes. Actually, at that time, जो ना मेरे घर पे थोड़ा सा paint job चल रहा था, so that's why I was not able to switch on my camera. Okay, okay. so if it's possible, so can you can you please uh, switch on your camera, both of you? So I will be able to see your videos only. Okay, none of you can see your videos. Okay. Yeah. So so that we can have better interaction with each other. Okay, that's good. That's good. जनरल इक्वेशन अच्छा एक बात बताओ इक्वेशन में और एक्सप्रेशन में क्या डिफरेंस होता है इन द पॉलिनॉमल आई हैव टोल्ड यू अच्छा हर्षित को नहीं मालूम होगा आ रही है आई थिंक यू रिमेंबर दिस थिंग अगर हर्षित आपको भी मालूम है यू कैन आल्सो आंसर इफ यू नो दिस थिंग ओके हर्षित डोंट डोंट हैव एनी आईडिया आपको आ रहा यू डू यू हैव एनी आईडिया कैन यू रिपीट योर क्वेश्चन आई एम सेइंग दैट व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एक्सप्रेशन एंड इक्वेशन expression as in words and equation as like you write it like with numbers and symbols i guess okay chalo theek hai so basically if i tell you so in if i come if you can say if i give you the reference of the polynomial chapter itself so it's like that suppose that this is the polynomial so suppose x square minus of 2x plus of 
So this is called expression because this is nothing. This is a value of something. Clear? So if I equate, same example is taken. So if I write this expression as is equals to zero. Now this has become the equation because we have equated it to zero. Clear Arya and uh, Harshit? Yes. Any doubt? No. Okay. So that's why this is called expression and this is called equation. I mean, uh, anything that is equated to zero will be called as equation. Clear? Or something else. So if basically if we made two, uh, if I compare, if I'm comparing two values or two quantities, so I'm comparing them. So we are, I'm equating them. Yes or no? So equating means to compare with something. Clear? Yes. Sir. Okay. So yeah, that's good. So let's understand. Let me, uh, please tell me that what will be the degree of linear equation? If I uh, take the con 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 uh, context yeah. of the polynomial. One. Okay, Arya said one. Harshit, you tell me your degree of polynomial. Tak kiya hai. Sir, one. Okay, one. Yes, it is. Yes, it is one. Very good. So it means that so I I can write the equation as because uh, we are doing the pair of linear equation in two variable. Pair means two pair. It means that two equations will be taken and you can say will be uh, treated as a single entity in this chapter. Clear? Because if the variable are two, if two variables are present in an equation, it means that we need two equations to solve those two variables. The number of equation will be required to solve those variable. Okay. Oops. So I have three, I have three variables. How many uh, equations do we need? Sir, only one I think. Sure. If I have three variables, suppose that I'm saying that X plus Y plus two Z is equals to six. How many equations do I need to solve these to get the values of these three variables? Two. So it infinite. No. Three variable. Three equations are required. So three equations will be taken. Some three other two equations can be anything uh, as per the you can say solutions. So three equations will be required to solve these uh, solve these equations. Clear? These variables. Any doubt, Harshit and Arya? No. Chalo, that's good. So the general expression, then general equation for the linear equation in to, uh, basically, if I say, if I'm saying that this is a normal uh, two variable equation, so it can be written as AX plus BY plus C. So this is nothing but this is your general expression or equation for the linear equation. So what is A and B here? Can you tell me? So they are uh, variable A and B. I'm saying A, B, and C. Yes, R A says something. Coefficient of X and Y. Yes, it is coefficient of X and Y. Very good. And C? Constant. 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 Yes, very good. Because there isn't any variable, so it will be constant term, right? So this is the general expression for a two variable. So I'm uh, basically... Uh, Coming for the uh, pair of linear equation as well. I'm just giving you the concepts first, basic concepts. So okay. School me bataye the sab starting start me introduction wagera. They have not given anything. They have just started just with a flying start, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Chalo, thiye. Koi baat nahi. So that's why I'm here. So I'm saying that be calm and be relaxed. So this is coefficient. coefficient of x and this will be called as coefficient of y and c will be your nothing but coefficient of oh sorry constant terms equation make kabhi bhi aise expression likha ho na whether it's quadratic cubic polylinear that will this this value this number will be nothing but this will be coefficients clear harshit and arya yes sir And C will be called as constant term.
constant term. Clear? So this is the general expression for a linear equation in two variables. So now let's understand a little bit about the pair of linear equation. What basically a pair of linear equation is. So pair of linear equation, it means that two equations will be given to you. That's why it is called pair of linear equation. And this will be treated as a single entity to solve those two variables. Clear, Harshit and Arya? So this will be like this. Okay. So here, it will be written as A1 x plus B1y plus C1 will be equals to 0. Okay. This is the first equation. And the another equation will be a2x plus b2y plus of c2 is equals to 0. So this will be called as pair of linear equation in two variables. This is the general expression or the equation for the pair of linear equation. Both of you are writing in the copy itself, yes or no? Yes, sir. Very good. Yes, sir. ठीक है, so first class हमारी हमारे हमें सही सबसे basic यही रहेगी first class कोई भी chapter हम start करें everything will be starting from basics irrespective you have no, no have knowledge about that chapter or not okay I will assume that if you have knowledge so that will be a good revision for you and if you don't have so that will that will be a learning for you clear that's yes. that's the template uh, of this class okay so pair of linear equation in two variables clear so now so for, we have basically multiple methods to solve these two equations. So basically aapka right now one uh, method is not there in your syllabus that is cross multiplication method is deleted since last year. So wo thoda sa, you can say a little bit complex method tha, but wo delete ho gaya. So right now you have only and uh, ha, one more method that is also deleted is uh, basically pair of reducible equations. So basically a kind of equation is formed in the you can say inverted like this equation is given to you like this will be equals to uh, 6 like uh, you can say 1 by 6. So this is uh, you cannot solve them directly. You have to reduce in other variables then you have to solve them like okay. So but right now it's deleted. Okay. Yes or no am I clear? Yes. Yes sir. Okay. Uh, so <clears throat> till now you have three methods. Uh, first we had five methods but right now only three methods are left. So that is First method is basically your substitution method. Aja, substitution se kya what you are getting? Uh, like, uh, can you tell me about substitution? Just a second. You can see, let me write it here. Deko. एक मेथड है हमारे पास ग्राफिकल मेथड ठीक है दूसरा मेथड है हमारा अल्जेब्राइक मेथड अल्जेब्राइक मींस वही जो हम नॉर्मल करते हैं जो लीनियर इक्वेशन हमने पॉलीनोमियल्स में किया दैट इज नथिंग बट अल्जेब्रा राइट सो ग्राफिकल मींस हम लोग ग्राफ पे करते हैं नाइन्थ क्लास में यू हैव डन द ग्राफ यस और नो यू हैव प्लॉटेड द ग्राफ यस डू यू रिमेंबर Yes. yes. So that is called graphical method to find the solutions of, an, of a linear equation through graph. Clear? Yes. Ninth or tenth ka mixture hai. Thoda sa isliye mein dono chizo ko revisit kar raha hai ek saath so that you can recall all the things and merge them. Right? So next is algebra. Yeh aapka second method hai. That is algebra. Chik hai? algebraic method. So graphical method में आपका normal वही होता है graph वगैरह. So आपके जो extension होती है algebraic method को अगर आप थोड़ा और classify करोगे split करोगे. So first method that comes out to be is substitution method. आप दोनों में से कोई भी कर सकते हैं like किसी को भी आप पहले priority दे सकते हैं it's up to you. So I'm just following the NCRT that but I prefer elimination but I'm following NCRT so that you don't get confused. So substitution Second is elimination. Achha, elimin uh, substitution se aapko kya samajh mein aara hai? Kuch thoda sa idea bataayenge aap? Arya and... 
you substitute the values yeah, we substitute the values so basically substitution so kya hoga dekho suppose that i am a maths teacher in front of you i'm teaching you maths right now okay what happen is that suddenly i fell uh, like i fall ill okay so uh, so basically learnive you will arrange a substitute for me you can yes or no so uh, will they arrange a mathematics teacher or a hindi teacher uh, mathematics mathematics teacher obviously because i am a mathematics so i can be substituted by only a mathematics teacher if i am a physics teacher so i can only be substituted by a physics teacher right so it means that the value that we will substitute in place of another variable it should be the equivalent value of that variable right so if i'm saying that if i'm a 60 kg person i'm say, just take an example if i'm 60 kg person so i should be substituted by a 60 kg person only yes or no yeah. athletes uh, go in the olympics na so they have uh, multiple uh, categories of weight so they can if suppose that uh, you uh, kisi ek uh, athlete ka 60 kg hai 62 kg hai सो so, उसी कैटेगरी के उनके साथ मैचेस होंगे और एक मतलब हंड्रेड ग्राम्स भी ऊपर नीचे नहीं होता बिल्कुल परफेक्ट परफेक्ट वेट होता है तो ताकि एकदम यू कैन से फेयर यू कैन से प्ले हो सके फेयर प्ले हो सके क्लियर हर्षिता नारिया क्लियर है बच्चो ओके वेरी गुड नेक्स्ट हाँ देखो नेक्स्ट इज एलिमिनेशन एलिमिनेशन में क्या होगा आपको uh, कुछ थोड़ा सा हिंट मिल रहा है एलिमिनेशन से सर एलिमिनेट करना कोई भी कोई भी चीज को एलिमिनेट करना वेरी गुड सो बेसिकली इसमें क्या होगा सो वी विल एलिमिनेट वन ऑफ द वेरिएबल फ्रॉम दीज टू इक्वेशन सो दैट वी गेट वी हैव ओनली वन वेरिएबल सो देखो एक वेरिएबल होगा सो दैट इज इफ आई हैव वन वेरिएबल इक्वेशन सो आई नीड ओनली वन वन इक्वेशन टू सॉल्व दैट वेरिएबल राइट सो इट्स इजियर टू सॉल्व वन वेरिएबल इंस्टेड ऑफ टू वेरिएबल सो दैट्स वाई आई एलिमिनेट मैं कहता हूँ लेट्स साइड इट and take only one variable so that's why it will give me an advantage to solve the equation very easily and i will substitute that value of that variable which is known which i have calculated into the uh, you can say original equation so i will get the another value of the variable clear yes sir so these yeah. are the two methods pehle aapke cross multiplication bhi hota tha equation reducible to pair of linear equation bhi hota tha so that is deleted right now ओके सो ग्राफिकल मेथड में दैट इज अ सिमिलर थिंग ग्राफिकल मेथड में जो चीजें आती हैं दैट यू विल लर्न इज बेसिकली टू टाइप्स ऑफ इक्वेशन यू हैव बेसिकली कंसिस्टेंट अच्छा कंसिस्टेंट इक्वेशंस क्या होती हैं हर्षित आर्या What are consistent equations? Are I'm asking and Harshit, I'm asking. <laughs> Any no idea, idea about it? No. नहीं है चलो कोई बात नहीं है आ रहे हैं आपको है? So we didn't do for consistent and stuff. It's it's in the syllabus, dear. How like how is it possible that this school hasn't completed that portion? So graph, so cool. I thought mom just gave us the questions as homework is it's the same as ninth. आज ठीक है चलो. so consistent equation are those equation which have value which have specific values right which is which has specific amount of solutions which have some solution of the equation right so consistent mein aapka aata first equation that is intersecting remember intersecting parallel coincident lines so yeah. that is that is classified that falls under the category of consistent intersecting so that is the difference that is the difference between the concept and the fast paced learning okay so that's why always prefer conceptual learning okay don't go in rush so intersecting lines so acha aryan harshit can you tell me that uh, how many uh, uh, like number of solutions for an for an intersecting line sir infinite Okay, Arshad said infinite area. Can you tell me how many number one. of solutions are present uh, for an intersecting line? One. One or unique solution. Very good, Arshad. One or unique solution. Only one solution will be there for an intersecting line because intersecting means the lines are cutting. Solution क्या होता है? चाहिए बताओ. Linear equation का solution क्या होता है? Solution हम लोग किस चीज़ को कहते हैं? Any idea you have about it, बच्चों? लाइक कोई भी हमने क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व जो एक आंसर आया उसे सॉल्यूशन कहते हैं 
Okay, Harshit said this thing. Okay, Arya, you have any idea about it? Same also. अच्छा चलो ठीक है सो बेसिकली इतना मतलब पॉइंट टू पॉइंट नहीं है बट लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग इज दैट सॉल्यूशन इज मी इट मींस दैट द द इक्वेशन और यू कैन से द इक्वेशन दैट इज गिवन टू यू दैट आर गिवन टू यू इट मींस दैट दे विल इफ दे हैव एनी सॉल्यूशन इफ दे हैव एनी सॉल्यूशन इट मींस दैट दे विल इंटरसेक्ट ओके राइट सो दे विल इंटरसेक्ट एट एनी कॉस्ट इफ दे हैव एनी सॉल्यूशन इट मींस दैट दे आर कंसिस्टेंट क्लियर सॉल्यूशन मीन दे विल सैटिस्फाई दे विल फॉल ऑन दैट लाइन सॉल्यूशन मीन वो होता है वो उस पॉइंट वो जो हमें मिली ये वैल्यू दैट इज फॉल्स ऑन दैट फॉल्स ऑन द लाइन ठीक है देखो ये छोटी छोटी दैट आर वेरी फंडामेंटल थिंग दैट यू शुड नो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द चैप्टर बिकॉज इफ यू डोंट हैव प्रॉपर नॉलेज अबाउट इट यू वोट बी एबल टू सॉल्व द गुड क्वेश्चन क्लियर एंड दैट इज द थिंग लाइक एनसीआर एग्जाम्पल क्वेश्चन फॉल ओके जस्ट अ सेकेंड one or you can let me one solution or unique solution okay so here next is basically your second is coincident line so coincident line what is what are coincident line can anybody tell me from both of you सबसे सिंपल एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ If I place both of my hands on each other, so are you able to see my hand that is basically behind my this hand? No. You are not able to see, na? Yeah. It means that my hands, my hands are coinciding each other. It means that my hands are completely covering. Coincident line can be longer. Like you, if you have two lines, suppose that if you have two lines like this, okay, one line is there. So I have basically copied this line again, basically. I have uh, copied this line. Okay, so let me basically इसको थोड़ा समय extend कर लेता हूँ. So देखो. So now can you tell me are you able to like basically identify that these two lines are are basically coincident or inch or basically they are two different lines? Are you able to identify and uh, tell me yes or no? No. It means that you can see now. It means that they are covering each and every point of each other, right? Yes. You can see. देखो, you are not able to identify these are two lines, basically different two different lines, because they are covering. If I basically place that thing on the line, so they are covering each other. Okay. So that that is called coincident. So uh, uh, like from this example, from this example, can you predict how many number of solutions will be there for a for a for coincident lines? No. No. Harshit. And basically, this is the part of tenth class levels. Arya and Harshit, this is not at ninth class levels that I'm teaching you right now. It's a part of tenth class. You can open your NCERT and find out the. This is the first topic: graphical method of the linear equation in two variables. It is a short topic, but this is a very fundamental topic. No, I have no idea. Has no huh? solution. Uh, okay. It has no. Solution. It will have infinite solutions. Okay. write it down in finite solutions why let me tell you with the example again so this is again one line that i have drawn so i have copied this line and again coincident uh, basically coincide this line so now i have two lines harshita and arya please look at the screen first before writing please look at the screen first okay so if i have dekho i am having two lines here in front of you so every point that is the part you can see na Each and every point will basically satisfy these two lines. Yes or no? If I'm saying that this point will satisfy this line, so this point will also satisfy the another the line. Yes or no, Harshita Narya? Yes, sir. So that's why. 
these like basically this type of uh, you can say line or are uh, have will have the infinite number of solutions or you can say many solutions okay yeah okay that's good so isko maine yahan pe basically yahan pe main aapko intersecting line ke example ye de deta hu aise cross bana kar so Sir, please could you explain it once again this part? Which one? A coincident line? Yes, sir. I don't understand. Okay, okay. So I am saying that I have one line. Okay, I have hmm. one line. So whatever is the solution of that line will also lie on this line, or that is another line. जो दूसरी लाइन है आपकी उसको भी तो सेटिस्फाई करें ना बिकॉज बोथ आर कवरिंग ईच अदर कोइंसाइडिंग मीन्स हर एक पार्ट हर एक एक पॉइंट सिमिलर है डिट टू कॉपी जैसे हम कहते हैं ना ट्विंस होते हैं सो वो ट्विंस वाला कॉन्सेप्ट आपको समझ में आया कि ट्विंस को आप अगर आप सेम कपड़े पहना देते हो एंड यू यू आर नॉट एबल टू रिकॉग्नाइज देम इफ यू आर लाइक अगर आप पेरेंट्स होते हैं या लाइक सिबलिंग्स या रिलेटिव्स वगैरह तो उनको आइडेंटिफाई कर लेते हैं बट एक अनोन पर्सन इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू रिकॉग्नाइज बोथ ऑफ दम इफ दे आर वेरिंग सेम क्लोथ्स ओके सो दैट्स वाई देर आर मल्टीपल पॉसिबिलिटीज सो उनको अगर कोई लाइक मल्टीपल पॉसिबिलिटीज है ना कि आप उनको मतलब सेम टाइप के अगर आप उनको क्लोथिंग देते हो सो दे विल लुक अलाइक अगर एक एग्जाम्पल ले लो दो इस आप दो ह्यूमन बींग्स को आप लेते हो एक सपोज दैट आई आई एंड यू सो अगर आप मैं और आप सेम क्लोथिंग पहने बट लाइक वी विल बी इजिली डिस्टिंगबल एनीबडी कैन डिस्टिंग राइट so that yes. is basically coincident line it means that each and every point will uh, satisfy these two lines clear yes sir okay ab clear hai koi doubt no sir are aapko no sir chalo that's good next is that is the point, uh, next type of uh, basically is inconsistent inconsistent mein bata sakte ho kaun sa type kaun se type ki line ho sakti hai sir parallel ho sakti hai क्या होगा नो सोल्यूशन का क्यू आपने बोला लाइक देखो अंडरस्टैंड अगर आपने कुछ बोला है तो जस्टिफाई करना भी थोड़ा थोड़ा आना चाहिए आपको तो क्या रीजन हो सकता है जो भी आपके रीजन है आपके लाइक वॉट एवर इज इन योर माइंड प्लीज टेल मी नो सोल्यूशन वाइट इज नो सोल्यूशन yeah so next okay no solution so you have seen like no solution will be like this so it means that this these are two so, so if i'm saying that parallel lines so this will be like this okay so no solutions will be like this okay so this line can be taken as l1 and this line can be taken as l2 so there isn't any intersection of point because dekho यहाँ पे एक इंटरसेक्शन हो रहा है यहाँ पे इनफाइनाइट इंटरसेक्शन हो रहे हैं सो दैट्स वाई इनफाइनाइट इंटरसेक्शन मीन्स इनफाइनाइट नंबर ऑफ सोल्यूशन यहाँ पे देर इज नो इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ लाइन क्लियर सो इट मीन्स दैट नो सोल्यूशन विल बी ऑफ दी पैरल लाइन क्लियर बोथ ऑफ यू हर्षित एंड आर्या एनी डाउट बचो कैन यू प्लीज गिव मी अ मोमेंट बचो कैन यू प्लीज गिव मी अ मोमेंट
ओके यस हर्षित नानी सॉरी डियर फॉर द इंटरप्शन ओके सो इज दिस क्लियर बोथ ऑफ यू यस ठीक है यस या so that is basically your uh, these are the basics and the fundamentals of the linear equation of two variable pair of linear equations clear yes so it me okay so if you have two variables how many number of equations will be required three two variables then two yes. then two yes it is two okay very good okay so let's okay so the, so we will do the graphical method in the last because like in the ncert it is given as first but uh, we will do that in the later part because uh, that is a graphical part so i just uh, first let's start with the algebraic part okay and then we'll move forward to the graphical part clear harshit and arya yes sir so this is the substitution method so substitute means i have already told you that it means that equivalent value equal value of the variable will be substituted in that place okay so that we can make the variable in we can make both the equation in one variable clear yes okay very good yeah, so, yeah. let me take one example so that we can uh, like i can so because uh, uh, with example that will be a little bit more interesting and more uh, easy to understand okay because they uh, like in these two chapter like uh, in the element like in this chapter there is very less theory maximum portion is of you can say uh, basically or up uh, numerical portion right so that's why i prefer to take the questions and explain it, it along with the question okay so let's do that thing first okay sir this uh, method substitution method falls under the algebraic method ha algebraic method yes bachche okay 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 so we are asking to cal to solve the pair of linear equation by substitution method so substitution method let's understand theek okay. hai so what we will do is that dekho hum log kya karenge isme first of all write down both the equation that is 7x minus 15y is equals to 2 this is equation number 1 okay and x plus 2y is equals to 3 this is equation number 2 so first step that should be your uh, that should be taken is that a, like you have to convert you have to any of the equation dekho koi si bhi equation aap lo and you have to make that equation aapko wahan se kisi bhi ek variable ki values फाइंड आउट करनी है यू हैव टू मेक बेसिकली फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू इन टर्म्स ऑफ अनदर वेरिएबल राइट यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ सपोज दैट आई एम कैलकुलेटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ x इन टर्म्स ऑफ y ओके सो इफ आई कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ x इन टर्म्स ऑफ y एंड इफ आई सब्स्टिट्यूट दैट हियर सो दिस इक्वेशन विल बी विल बिकम ओनली वन वेरिएबल बिकॉज़ इन दिस इक्वेशन x विल बी सब्स्टिट्यूटेड बाय द इक्विवेलेंट ऑफ y या यस और नो हर्षित आर्या यस सो okay so step 1 dekho step 1 always like always follow these steps okay just for the starting once you will be uh, once you will practice all those question that will be easier for you okay the step 1 so i'm writing that this equation isko thoda dekho is equation ko agar main leta hu if i take this equation basically so you can see a kind of little bit more fraction will come instead of this equation because it's easily i will get the value of x in terms of y if i basically directly uh, shift that x uh, y to y on the right hand side right so basically what i will do is that i will write it as 
x will be equals to 3 minus 2y. Clear? So this will be your equation number 3. Yes or no, Harshit and Arya? Yes, sir. Yes. Take care. So, they go. so if I basically, uh, now what I will do is that now I have got the value of x in terms of y. So, can I substitute this equation in the place of x because this equation will become the value in terms of y. Only one variable will be there. That is y. So, it will be easier to calculate yes or no. The value of y. Ashita and Arya, clear it? Yeah. Okay. Next step will be. You can also take this equation as well. That is 7x. But I did is the, uh, like I did, uh, basically I took this equation because it's easier to calculate the value of x in if, if we compare with this, right? Because I have to shift the 15y and then I have to divide it by 7. So that will be a little bit cumbersome process, right? So in equation 1. So if I substitute the value here in equation 1, so third equation will be there. Third step will be 7 3 minus 2y minus 15 y will be equals to 2. Okay? Now it's time to solve this. Simplify it a little bit. 7 3 is how much? What is the value of 7 3 is 21 or 22? Uh, it will be 21 minus 14y minus 15y is equal to 2. 21 minus 14y minus 15y will be equals to 2. Very good. So now... <clears throat> Take all the variables on one side and constant on one side. Okay. So that we can easily find the values. So 15y plus 14y will be equals to 21 minus 29y is equals to 2. Right? Yes, sir. So now <clears throat> uh, 21 minus 2 will be equals to 29. So I will be back in one minute. Okay. I'm okay, very okay. sorry. Okay, okay. Take your time. <clears throat> okay. And so if I, so now Harshit, you can see this thing that 29y will be equals to 19. Okay. So y will become equals to 19 by 29, 29. right? Okay. Just wait, just wait for a moment. Once Arya join, okay. Then we'll move forward. Harshit, is this clear to you till now? Yes, sir. Sure. Uh, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm back. Okay, okay. Okay, that's great. Okay, Arya, is this clear to you? Dear? What I've done is that I have basically simplified and add them up. Okay, and I have taken all the variables on one side and the constant on one side. So what happened is that this will become 29 on the right side. So it will become positive and 2 on the left hand side. It will become negative. So it will be 29. Y equals to 21 minus 2 is 19. And Y will be equals to nothing but 19 by 29. Clear, Arya and Harshit, please tell me, Bacho. Yes, yes, sir. Now, fourth step should be substitute the value of y in any of the equation. Kisi bhi equation aap substitute kar sakte ho. Okay? Clear Harshit and Arya? So if I'm yes. substituting here, so fourth, fifth st uh, step will be, so I'm is value substitute kar lete because it's easier. Thik hai? Ab dekho, one, two, three, kisi mein bhi calculate kar sakto isme. Thik hai? So I'm substituting in, in equation three because directly hamar pas x ki value aajegi if I substitute directly here. So x will be equals to three minus two into 19 by 29. So it will be equals to 3 minus 2 nines are 38 divided by 29 will be equals to if I take the LCM. Yes or no, Harshit and Arya, is this clear? If I take the Can LCM. You that stuff? Can you repeat files? Uh, which, I said, okay. So, they go. This equation is there. That is already value of X. If I substitute the value of Y here, I will get the value of X. Yes or no? Yeah. So, I have substituted the value of Y here. 2Y mm -hmm. is 2 into 19 by 29. So, 2 nines are 38 because 2 is multiplied with y, na? Okay. And this is the denominator has become 29. So, I have to take the LCM to simplify it. Yes or no? Yes. 
ओके एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन इंटू थ्री माइनस ऑफ कितना हो गया थर्टी एट ठीक है इज इक्वल टू ये कितना हो गया ट्वेंटी नाइन इंटू थ्री आपका हो जाएगा थ्री नाइन जो ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड टू हेयर सिक्स एटी सेवन माइनस थर्टी एट डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी नाइन सो इट विल कम इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी नाइन बाय ट्वेंटी नाइन क्लियर हर्षित आ रहा Yes. So the value it means that the value of x and y will be x will be equals to nineteen by twenty nine and y will be equals to oh sorry y x ki value forty nine hai or apki nine ki value kitni hai uh, y ki value is nineteen by twenty nine. Okay, now tell me is this clear both of you Arya and Harshit? Uh, yes, sir. Any doubt? So we cannot simplify it or more than you can. So more than simplify you can't simplify, but why? Because they are not uh, divisible by each other. So if in any case, if it comes, then we can further simplify it. Yes, yes. The more you can simplify it, the more you can do it. Look, in decimal, there is no कोई भी लाइक like, स्पेसिफिक वो नहीं है क्योंकि दैट विल बी अ वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम डेसिमल में हम लोगों को करना नहीं है अगर देखो अगर वो इजीली कन्वर्ट हो रहा है सो इट्स इजियर बट इफ यू आर नॉट गेटिंग कन्वर्टिंग और डिविजिबल सो दैट इज नॉट द हार्ड एंड रूल केस दैट यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट इट जितना सिंप्लीफाई हो सकता है अपने एंड से यू कैन डू ओके सर या सो इट्स नॉट मैंडेटरी टू लाइक मेक दिस थिंग इन टू डेसिमल और टू सिंप्लीफाई ऑल एंड ऑल तो जितना सिंप्लीफाई इक्वेशन में डिविजन में हो जैसे कि आप मान लेट सी वन एग्जाम्पल है कि थर्टी एट बाय फिफ्टी सेवन सो और किसे सिंप्लीफाई हो सकता है इसको नाइनटीन से डिवाइड है और दिस विल बिकम टू बाय थ्री सो अगर इफ यू टेक दिस इक्वेशन आप अगर आप यहाँ पे भी छोड़ते हो इसको दैट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट इफ अगर आप यहाँ पे भी इसको छोड़ते हो तो दैट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट ओके जस्ट ए सेकेंड Okay, sorry for the uh, interruption, dear. Okay, is this clear, Harshit and Arya? Yes, sir. Okay, so jitna simply, देखो maths में आप जितना teacher को simplified way में present करोगे ना, उतना आपके लिए better chance होता है कि वो marks आपके कम like कहीं किसी भी case में deduct करें. जितना आप simply जितना simplify रखोगे अपने steps को देखो. These are the steps that are very simplified and clear. Teacher को हर एक एक step like आपको ऐसे नहीं करना है कि exam में दिखाना होगी like substitute ये सब चीज लिखनी है आपको but इतना ज़्यादा थोड़ा मैंने explain किया है तो exaggerate किया है थोड़ा सा but when you will practice and all the things so you will see that thing आपके ये कुछ इसमें एक दो steps आपके कम हो जाएंगे but अभी right now this is a new topic so it will be um like uh, I thought that it should be good to basically explain you with a uh, with an exaggerated manner clear वो नहीं किया Yes, yes sir. Any doubt so far? No sir. Sure. Yes. yes sir. ठीक है. So uh, if I give you some homework questions, would you like to try? आप लोग try करोगे अगर मैं homework questions दूँ आप लोगों को तो? Yes sir. Yeah. चलो ठीक है. So uh, I will share uh, some homework questions to you. Two ज़्यादा उन्हीं भेजूँगा. I will share only two questions just for the practice because next class में हम लोग अभी इसके कोई questions और करेंगे. Okay. So and then we will do some questions. Okay. Clear? Okay, sir. So that's great. So that's all for this class. Ah, uh, Harshit and Arya. Ah, uh, Harshit dear, please don't leave the class. Ah, uh, they will ask you to join the room. So please join that room. Okay. You can switch on okay. off your video right now. And uh, once they will join, ah, uh, ask you to ah uh, join. You can ah uh, join that room. Okay. Okay, sir. I will. I will not leave the class as well. I will be there. Ah, uh, just I am taking ah uh, a ten minute break just because of iftar right now in India. 
So, okay. So, Arya and Harshit, that's all for this class, dear. And thank you so much for joining the class, both of you. Bye, sir. Have a good day. Bye. Same to you, dear. Thank you. Okay, Harshit, please wait here. Okay. Okay, sir.